What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. I just want to do a fun little thought experiment on how much extra or excess SPS is there out there in the ecosystem. Again, this is just my opinion. These are just this is just my perspective. Uh, none of this financial advice, and not even that I'm going to tell you to do anything. It's just more so trying to figure out. How much of an extra supply do we have? Because I know people keep talking about doing a halving, slowing down emissions, but my big thing is the fact that we just have way too much SPS out there for the player base as it currently stands. So I'm going to tackle this in a couple of different ways here, uh, but I just want to start off with the, well, we won't start off there. Let's actually go back over to the leaderboard here for modern format. Now, I'm just going to assume Right, you can see here, I'm in gold right now. I'm ranked number 626. This season has not been great for me. <laughs> so you can see nine out of 26, which is awful, but uh, that's why we have the bot running in wild because uh, I just don't feel like playing and losing so much. But that aside, my terrible playing aside, um, here's the thing. I, I even wanna get very, very conservative with this. Let's go all the way down to 1,000. Let's say there are 1,000 people actively trying to reach champ in either wild or modern format, okay? Now, again, I'm just using rough numbers here, but in order to get that 10X multiplier of SPS, you would need 400,000 SPS. Now, you multiply 400,000 SPS times the 1,000 players that are actually trying to achieve that goal and wanting to maximize their rewards. Granted, you could have more, but again, any anything beyond, I would say, 400,000 in champion is probably just going to be marginal returns on your on your uh, like your rewards, right? Your glint. I was about to say reward shares, but your glint and SPS. Um, so again, 400,000 times a thousand gives us 400 million which I want to come here and call out the total supply. That's that's not even one third of what we currently have, 1.2 billion. And for the player base as it currently stands, we would only need 400 million. Now, of course, you would need some liquidity, for example. Uh, so SPS would need to be paired up with BNB, ETH, and Hive, and, and, and DEC the way that it is. How much you have for that? I mean, again, I, I, I don't think that we have, we don't, we don't have like hundreds of millions in liquidity pools. In fact, you can go, oh, actually this is DEC liquidity pools, but if we were to go to tribal decks, for example, let's go to pools here and uh, we'll pull this in. I'm gonna pull SPS and you will see that in the Hive SPS pool, for example, which I believe is the biggest, let's filter or sort by liquidity. You have 28 million SPS here, right? This thing has a million dollars worth of liquidity. There's 28 million SPS in there. And if we go to the liquidity pools here, or LPs here, uh, just, just to see where the SPS Hive stands compared to the others, I think they're all roughly the same in terms of overall liquidity. And of course, this is not gonna be compliant with me. There we go. To pools. All right, so you got SPS BNB. This is not 1 million. You do have SPS ETH over at 1.2 million. But let's just say for the sake of argument, right? So you got SPS Hive at about 1 million. Uh, you have 1.2 million here, and we'll just say another million here. So all in all, 3 million, we'll just say 3.5 million. I mean, that's 100 million that you would need in terms of liquidity, at least where things stand right now. So going back to uh, Splinter Cards here, we're only at 500 million, right? Now, granted, the DAO is sitting on some, right? The, the DAO is, is holding a decent amount of SPS and it was also issued a lot of SPS early on. And so if we go down, uh, shoot, where is it? Uh, here we go. The DAO is sitting on 4.1%, right? Uh, of the of the total SPS. I don't know where the total number is. Um, either way, point being, right? The DAO is gonna be sitting on some, we can consider that out of circulation, but it's not sitting on the 700 million that, that uh, we currently have. So I, I'm, I'm using this, like I said, very rough numbers and trying to think to myself, okay, 500 million is what we currently need liquid in terms of, well, not even liquid, 400 million would, would need to be staked for players. And then another 100 million would need to be out there as part of the liquidity providers. So yes, you have the DAO sitting on some, but that would be considered illiquid as well, right? Uh, that's not coming out unless we, uh, the SPS stakers choose to do something with it. 
So there's 700 million that's just kind of unaccounted for. And let's say there's about 100 million or so in the Dow, that's still 600 million like unaccounted for. Now, granted, that that 600 million, I'm sure a good portion of that is sitting staked, right? You can see there's 746 million total that is staked. So you have a lot of folks that have way more than 400,000 SPS. But my whole point is that if you're looking at this with where the current player base is, you know, 400 million uh, or yeah, 400 million SPS is, is not going to cut it. Meaning a thousand players trying to get that multiplier, that 10x multiplier is not going to cut it. Now, what's cool, and I, I've said this before, and I'll close off with this because I think that this is obviously somewhat bullish in nature, is if you increase that 1,000 players, serious players, hardcore grinding players that want to achieve the rewards all the way at the top that are super competitive, if you increase them from 1,000 to 3,000, right? So that's a delta of 2,000, meaning we would only need to pull in 2,000 real players, which yes, at this point in time, pulling in one person seems like a huge win. So 2,000 seems almost, you know, unattainable, but in a crypto bull run, 2,000, I think is actually not that difficult. It's actually quite a small number considering how big crypto is. But if we were to pull 2,000 players in, well, and all of them trying to achieve a top spot. Again, I'm not saying that they have 400,000 SPS, but they are trying their best to, to get as much of that SPS as possible, up to 400,000. That is where the magic, I think, would happen, right? But as it stands right now, there's still just too much out there. And unless we're planning on multiplying the player base soon, uh, even by a modest number of 2,000 folks, I don't see anything happening for SPS in the short to medium term just because there's too much out there. Not to mention, there's also a ton being given out every day through all of the different reward pools, right? Staking, battle rewards, guild rewards, or guild brawls, I should say, tournaments, right? So there's there's still just too much out there. And if I had to quantify it, I would say probably more than half of it has to go, right? Uh, and again, are we going to be able to burn 600 million? It's been such a struggle just to burn 58 million. So probably not. I, I think the better route is what the team is trying to do anyway, which is fix up the player experience, you know, add in all the cool tools and things like that. And then, you know, start, start getting the word out there and marketing and seeing if that actually is able to pull in players and uh, not just pull them in, but actually retain them to the point that they want to go in and actually try to get to 400,000 SPS or try to get that 10 X multiplier in champion. But you know, that's just me. Uh, that's just my perspective on it. I'm curious to know what you guys think on this. How much extra SPS do you think is out there right now that we would either need to burn through ideally or get players coming into the game? And I say ideally because my expectation as, as bullish as I am and as optimistic as I am, my expectation just being purely conservative is that we're not going to get a massive wave of players in, right? I'm, I'm in a prepare for the worst kind of mindset where, you know, maybe this just ends up being a niche game for for uh, the community for another three to four years, which sucks, I know, uh, considering, you know, everybody has really high hopes here, but, you know, there's just, there's a solid core player base, uh, which I don't think is going anywhere now that Matt is, you know, doing doing what he has set out to do. And I think that they would give Matt another cycle, at which point, SPS emissions should start to slow down. Any and all, you know, things that require DEC and burn DEC over time will be beneficial, right? And and start to eat through all that extra SPS over the next three to four years. But again, that's worst case scenario in my opinion. Well, worst case scenario is when thing goes belly up. But I, I'm not I, I'm not at that point yet. That's not something that I'm worried about. Um, all I'm trying to say is that that is where my head is at, and I'm curious to get your thoughts on this. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.